Hello YouTube, this is going to be a video response to Brendan Rawls, how I first started to ride. Uh, I'm going to put a little, how I first started to ride, I was five years old. And uh put the bike in the background here on my little miniature tripod on the bloggy. I was five years old when I first learned how to ride. Uh, I've been riding bicycles for about two years at the time and my dad felt like it was time for me to move on up and learn safety and get a uh, little mini bike. Well, he looked at mini bikes and didn't really like them so he went out and bought me a uh, Honda Trail 70. Now mind you, my mother was dead set against this. But the way my dad looked at it, he looked at her and said, uh, well, look at it this way. Would you rather him learn how to ride now while he's young enough to learn the safe way you're doing it? Or wait until he's 16 or 18 and out on his own and buys when he gets killed? So, at five years old, I got my very first bike, which was a uh, Honda Trail 70. And how I first learned how to ride was sitting in my front yard in fact, I'll go show you right now where it all took place at. Now, mind you, all these little trees and bushes were not here at that time. It was a straight open yard, nothing but the pine trees. And right in here, which you got to forgive the mess because we're in the midst of a yard cleanup right now. Right in here, my dad, my Honda Trail 70, and three of my uncles, four grown men were going to teach me how to ride this Honda Trail 70. Well, I remember this as plain as day as if it was as if I was five years old again. They came around through here, and like I said, none of these small trees were here. My mother planted all this crap years ago. And they tore off down this front straightaway right here until they got way down there towards the corner. And then they turned left and went across. But where they turned left at, all four of them, when they turned left, they were still running about probably 40, 45 mile an hour. When they turned left, the bike just went out from under them. All four of them. Then they get up, pick the bike up, come on back up and come up by the front of the house. And uh, they did that probably two times a piece. Well, I had my helmet on already when uh, when my last uncle brought the bike back up there. Bike didn't get hurt, believe it or not, after all them uh, cases of being dropped. And I'm sitting there looking at the bike, looking at all them grown men on it, you know. And I'm sitting there and I'm going, I go. I got this, Daddy. I got on that bike. Put it in first gear, went through the gears. Got all the way down there to where all of them busted their butt at now. And uh, I just stopped. Put it back down there first gear and idled around where they fell. And come back up the other side, you know, until I got to the next corner. Did the same thing. Slow down, stop. And, uh, I did this probably four or five times in a row. You talking about a bunch of grown men that got pissed off at a young kid? They all wanted to see me bust my butt. Which I did not give them the pleasure in seeing, I might add. And that was how I learned how to ride. And then, you know, graduated on up through, had that bike for a year or so, and then next bike, next bike, so on and so forth. It was all, uh, it was all pretty fun. Never did get out of bikes until I had my 82 GPZ 550 for a couple of years. And I've had bigger bikes than that bike before it came along, but it was the first real sport bike I ever owned. And of course I was 17, 18 when I owned it. And I got to where I was too crazy on that bike, so I finally just uh, 
got rid of it. Stayed off of them for a couple of years. Stayed off of them for a couple of years and uh, then got me another bike. Got me a Yamaha Maximum 400. Yes, I have your babies out here. I heard somebody barking. Doodle bug. Because oh. I'm running my drill motor with the come Wonder on, Ball. Come on. You want to come in? How about Boomer? Boomer's already in. Got a Boomer jump. So, at any rate, that's what I've done. Bought it, rode it for a while, and uh, it was real, really too small of a bike for me at that point in time. Didn't have enough horsepower to get out of its own way. As I found out one day when I got ran off the road and went up into the school, uh, school grounds, Oak Grove Elementary and went behind the school and realized that I was coming up on a big jump that we used to take dirt bikes off of and I was still running probably around 60 mile an hour at the time when I had to just lock the brakes up and lay it over on its side and kick away from the bike to keep from going off of that cliff that big jump on a street bike but I did that for a while got it stopped, picked up Brought it over to my neighbor's house, got the fork straightened back out, rode it for a little while longer, and then sold it. And then stayed off of them for about uh, six, seven years. Never really thinking about it too much because I've been on them all my life. And then all my friends, you know, when I was in my mid-30s, started, started getting bikes. And I knew of this bike. I knew the original owner at that time who was not thinking about getting rid of it at that time. I'd already seen the bike and loved the way it looked. I just wasn't too sure about a V4 engine design and lo and behold he finally decided to sell it and it stayed on the market about a year before I made up my mind to seriously talk to him about getting it and then I went and test rode it and it was love. You know I loved it after test riding it so I uh, took that along with my truck and bought this bike. Been riding it ever since, since 08. And that's how I started to ride. So, hope y'all enjoyed it. Bye.